Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back. And today, we've obviously got a video on the Zweihanders. Um, so we're going to have a look at the Vectrasy line. We're going to see, um, do a few clips of them and see how we get on. And I'll just commentate at the top, like usual. Word of warning, this unit is not very good. Um, so before we even get going, if you've got your finger on that purchase button, do not do it. Don't do it. They're just... At the moment, they're a bad version of other units that are cheaper in leadership and just perform better. Um, so, yeah, um, take you know that how you will. Um, but let's get into the uh, into the Vectrasy line and um, see what doctrines and stuff we have on them. Okay, so here are my Zweihanders. Uh, we only we only been playing with them at level 27. We've been leveling them, um, but I've all my clips. Most of it is from them at level 27. There's not a huge amount of difference in the last few levels, but I thought I'd get this out before too many people go and purchase them um, because it is not worth it if you are going to spend your hard-earned money on them. Just let me do it instead, and then uh, wait for them to get a buff that they they desperately need. They're they're terrible, um, but. Let's not get too negative now. We, we've got... We, that's for later. That's for later while we're watching the clips. Doctrine-wise, we're looking at a combat doctrine, so S-tier doctrine straight out the gate. Uh, unit killing doctrine 4. Very good. Unit killing doctrine... Uh, sorry, hero killing doctrine four, uh, 4. A little piercing defense with a little bit of health on it, and then a blue slashing damage one. Obviously, there could be better doctrines with these two, but these three are pretty uh, pretty good. So, that's nice. We're going to have a look at the Vectricity line. Okay, Vectricity line, we have done both. We have been bottom line, and we have been top line. Bottom line, essentially, you're like more of a halberdier. You, you brace them, you wait things to run into you, and then you click the same button again, and they do like a immunity and that like quite a nice chunk of damage. Um... But at the moment, there is so much cav about. You do this, you just get run over. It doesn't stop cav. Even though it, they would like to think this does anything to cav, it doesn't do a thing. So you just get run over. And if you try and get in a melee fight with it, um, basically you just um, get jabbed or ranged or men at arms come over and kill you. So um, yeah, it's, it's okay when in a big blob inside of some Imperial Spears, being bottom line, being more focused on um, uh, prepared stance. That's what bottom line is. Um, the healing's okay, but they're obviously static. It's like men at arms roaming, healing all the time. These guys, you have to statically have them there. There's probably a better system, but you know, men at arms will just walk over these guys. Um, so yeah, we've got a few clips with with this line and then uh after that after i changed to the top line because i was fi finding i was doing a lot better just roaming and surprising people kind of using these similar to mushas and then coming in with knight's gambit and just coming straight going straight into the back of them and uh just unleashing as much damage as possible and just good playing quite aggressively like that but never really going front line because they'll just get wiped um so yeah, so we've gone top line. Definitely preferred top line because of the play style, but, you know, that's up to you. Again, I wouldn't bother getting them yet. Uh, so health-wise, we're looking at 12,000. Unit count is 24. Um, 300 leadership, but that's only obviously at the moment because it's their season. We have 1,900 um, slashing pen and 1,800 slashing damage, so relatively okay. Uh, piercing defense... Uh, is 740, so not great for what they kind of advertise to be. Um, almost 700 slashing defense, and then 589 blunt defense. Um, funny enough, I did uh, come across their little brothers that are the Claymores, and the Claymores wiped them um, very, very quickly. So, yeah, I don't know if I got that in the video, but you'll see. We'll be talking, and we will go through the struggles that I had with this um so i will apologize now the clips are not anything good because it was so difficult to get and then good i've got one or two where i kill like two heroes in a row and like stuff like that but just be prepared that the clips coming up are going to be a lot of into combat dead okay so yeah let's get into it 
Okay, so here we go. This is the outing with the Zweihanders. I believe this is the top line um, veterancy line for them. Um, but nonetheless, we prepare stance on the stairs. We're just gaining a little bit of little bit of health back. We've got a long sword up there. It's doing a great job healing our guys. Just sort of taking a look and having a look what they've got down there. They've got some some Zweihanders and some men at arms, and they're going to bring their men at arms up. That I'm actually quite looking forward to because I wanted to go from the prep stance straight into the uh, use the prep stance move and then follow that with uh, with the next ability that is obviously the mad slice that we get we get a few kills here but we also lose half our stack we lose half stack and that is us losing half stack with our own team here with shields um, so yeah that's always great um, so yeah half a stack of Zyhanders for well 14 men at arms um, that with help so that's straight out of the gates and that's basically using them how you're meant to use them from prep stance click the ability from prep stance that basically makes them immune to um, being knocked down uh, and then you go into the next ability that does the swings that also makes them immune to knockdown but um, yeah so here get shendied over the top pretty classic move we're a bit low on health straight out of the gates. So obviously, half health them straight away. We're going to pop them in, go straight in for the aggressive slashing straight out the gates. And uh, yeah, they're they're wiped there too. They got got destroyed. So that's the end end of them. And we move on to the next clip. This is this is what I'm saying. They're going to be fast fire. They're going to be quick fire. Um, but this is us versus. I'm not sure what's down there apart from the Zweihanders, but. Yeah, basically we're just trading off at the moment, and uh, but this is all with help from team, and I'm still losing like 90% of my stack. That is, that is crazy. It's crazy. And then um, so yeah, that's that's that dead. Pick up a little kill. Grab those halberdiers. Are gonna pick the rest. Pick up the rest of his um, his Vihanders. The thing is, right, that these guys are like a bad halberdier slash a bad Celadar. Uh, uh, this is literally what they feel like. They just feel like the worst things of both of those units. The, I mean, yeah, it's just not... They don't feel good to play. But here is the only good bits I get. Obviously, peasants. We're just going in for a little swing. We'll just clear them up. Seven peasants. It's, obviously, that's going to be a be a kill. Um, but in these coming clips, this is where I start sort of using them a bit more. Just without using prep stance. Just go in and just, you know, use them... Use their second ability and uh, yeah, straight in for the um, for the kill. So pick up two heroes there, pull them out. But even with pulling them out, we've still lost a good chunk. It's like it's mad how quickly you can lose these guys. Um, they definitely have been uh, been nerfed from the beta. That was probably a good thing uh, because they were very tanky. But like they have been over nerfed. Like in terms of how tanky they're meant to be. I don't. The damage I think is fine, but how tanky they are is just yeah it's not good they're, they're way way too squishy uh, so here we're just tangling with a longsword with a few other heroes and he's holding us back so we've got some of the naginata monks here that we're going to give them a little slice to um so yeah good damage into a slice and it looks great the slicing looks great but my issue is you can there's many other units that will do exactly the same things and better for cheaper leadership and here comes some Yoda caps on like prep, prep stance straight out the gates, hit the uh, hit the slash part off of prep stance, and I mean it does something, but they kind of skimmed off to the side. And now I'm going to put them straight in, going for the big two ability, get a hero. It does pick up heroes really nice, does pick up heroes really nicely, um, but you will probably lose half a stack. That's Really, really irritating. The nice thing is that you can heal them, though. So you just pop them in prep stance. They heal up, and you are you are good to go. You are good to go. And now it's sort of coming down to the end of this game. So I'm like, okay, let's really let's put them outside and go for the uh, going for this. So we're going for the um, two ability again, um, and we go and grab a few of those kills that we obviously the cab at the moment is a nightmare. But I see these uh, Orchi Samurais, and I'm like, ah, uh, and I, I kind of mind fart here, and yeah, get killed. Leave them slashing, but Orchi's basically one-shot these guys, so um, 
Yeah, and now we've got some uh, Iron Reapers, so we, we prep stance, the move off prep stance into the two ability that goes off now, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is going well, this is going well, and yeah, the uh, the Reapers uh, the Reapers kill my entire stack for about, I think I've got eight Reapers, eight Reapers, so yeah, and then we've got another one, Maul comes, I'm trying to get away and the Maul just kind of comes in, and so we, we take him out, get a slash in. Prep stance up, and uh, these, yeah, these men at arms decide to munch. Munch my, Zy uh, my Zykalian, my Zweihanders. Um, so they, uh, yeah, that's that's them dead there. <laughs> it, honestly, this was the hardest video I've ever had to make, because it was, it felt truly awful. And right there, it looks good, it looks really good, but you got to remember, we've got Iron Reapers there with us. I was trying to disguise them at this point as claymores, just because I thought maybe people are just targeting them because of the news of eye handers. So I tried to just disguise them as something else, but none of my disguises worked. <laughs> uh, so we got these palace guards here. Gonna go for a little bit of that and uh, see if we can get any kills there. We're picking up a few. Picking up a few. Got a chain dart on me. Just take this guy out of the game. And uh, yeah, my eye handers got killed by the palace guards. Slightly irritating. So right here, we're, we've got the uh, the men at arms, and we've got some spear, imperial spears. We're braced up, ready to go, just behind me here, and uh, they're coming in. They're on their way in. So we hit our hit our one ability again that allows them to do a slash into a two ability. Again, very good at picking up heroes just out of the gates. I've, I'm too busy watching them and <laughs> get myself killed. <laughs> it didn't really matter because they were on the way out anyway. Um, yeah. So as you can see, we are firing through clips because this is the way the, every game went. Um, I, the best game I had was back there in uh, in Reginopolis. Um, so, and most of the time, if we have a good clip, it's like we're saved by something by Iron Reapers, Yolo Cav, whatever, um, that allows us to keep them. Into the side here, we're going to go straight in with our two ability, and uh, that's going to. Oh no! So we're doing prepared stance into the two ability and ran over by Cav. Um, so, yeah, the winged is our problem at the moment. Is it's I can see it. I didn't believe it before, but I can see it now. It's pretty. It's pretty brutal. Um, so, yeah, pushing last point now. Uh, I'm trying to be as careful as possible. I'm like, you do not know how hard I was trying to get a good clip of just seeing them just wipe something or do something that was deemed useful. Uh, and about the most useful thing you can do with these is just. Go bottom line in the Invectancy, and then just use them as a barricade. But the problem is, you may as well just take Halberdiers. Like, just put them in prep stance, leave them there. Just take Halberdiers. I mean, it, it is, as I said, a... It's Halberdiers slash Celadars mixed into a terrible <laughs> sandwich. Um, so, yeah. That's, um... That's... Yeah. That is Claymores for you. But nonetheless... We're going to block this gap here. We've got the men in prep stance, I believe, at the moment. Oh, no, we've got them slashing away. We're going to prep stance them right in the corner here and see what we can pick up. Um, and, uh, yeah, just... Then we're going to click the one ability again. That's going to send them to start swinging and being immune. And then the two ability just to get the extra, the extra few hits in. And we're slowly losing them. Not as fast as, as before, but they will eventually get... Annihilated by Men at Arms and Cav, that is a theme, and then somehow I get insta-killed here by something or other, um, that's great. Uh, and then, so we're now in the on the Viking map, and we're just gonna try and protect these Shenjis for a little bit. Prep starts again, and uh, yeah, just trying to anti-Cav that... It says they're meant to be quite good against Cav, and what you're meant to do is have prep stance, then click prep stance again when you get charged. But it doesn't. It doesn't always work out how you think it does. Similar to like timing a uh, like a killing Cav with Orochi, where you've got to strike forward at the right time. Um, it can work, but prep stance seems to take a long time to get set up and go. And then, yeah, it's, it just doesn't work how it's how it's meant to kind of go before when we're on the PTR. You kind of got away with it because you could, um, uh, they were tanky enough that they could survive stuff and their, their heal was, you know, pretty good. So, um, but here it's, 
on live, it's God, it's difficult, man. It's difficult. Um, so I'm just going to leave them there, give them a little bit of health, get rid of these coconuts here that someone's just left around, and then we'll get back into the fight. We'll start pushing up the uh, up this and try and take that next base where we're going to run into, I believe, some men at arms and some cav. And can you guess what's going to happen? Um, I mean, to be fair, uh, some a lot of these engagements you die if you're any unit. But what I'm what I'm trying to say is that any like in a lot of these engagements, you would just would have been better off with halberdiers or whatever men at arms. It's just it's just not does not worth it. Um, so we lose half there. We're in prep stance. We are getting some kills in on the bruise um, on the Kriegs Bruders um, or brothers in arms. And uh, yep, unit wiped. So, that is it, guys. I'm sorry for the negativity on this one, uh, and I'm sorry for the terrible clips. I literally couldn't get a good clip. Uh, I was even considering not even releasing this video because, um, yeah, I just can't I can't get a grip of these guys at all. I can't get any purchase. Uh, it's really irritating. Do not buy them now, because they probably will get probably will get a buff if no one's buying them. Um, or something like that, but just, yeah, stay, stay away, do the challenges, don't spend your hard-earned money. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this sort of content, I'd really appreciate the sub. Um, take care, and I will see you in the next one.